back to another reaction video, y'all. It's your big can. Back at it again with another reaction video, y'all. For another part of the can, fam. Make sure to hit that myth back and subscribe, man. If you like the video, hit that myth like button because it's going up to 22. Yeah. Today we're reacting to, look, uh, uh, Britain's Got Talent, y'all. This is a, something a little bit different. I'm trying to try something new, you guys. Um, uh, Lauren uh, Allred, you know what I'm saying? She shines bright with Never Enough. I, I've heard the song. I think we all have heard the song before. I've never heard her sing before. So we're all in for a treat. Leave your thoughts and opinions inside the comment section below. I hope this video doesn't get blocked, but we never know. But yeah, let's hop on into the video. <laughs> Welcome. What's your name? My name's Lauren. And where are you from? From Brooklyn, New York. Oh, but she from Brooklyn. Let's go throw it out. Hey, throw it out. <laughs> she from the state. Let's go. Hey, Lauren, we're rooting for you. Bring it on home for us, my sister. Come on, bring it on home for us. Okay, we rooting for her, Taishi. She from Brooklyn. Let's go. Yes. So why Britain's Got Talent? Most of my favorite singers are from the UK, so I thought I'd come pay a visit. Ed Sheeran, the freaking goat, love his music, so I feel her on that. You guys. Okay, so Lauren, tell me a bit about you. Uh, I think some of you guys have actually heard my voice, but you don't know my face. Um, I sang the song Never Enough on The Greatest Showman. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, did, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I, I didn't see it, so I don't know. Blew their minds! Oh my god! Do they? Do you guys know so what she's I was talking hired about? To do the reference vocals for the actresses, so they could learn the songs. And so oh shit! Come in and sing "Never Enough," and it really was Rebecca Ferguson who plays Jenny Lind who said, "I think that Lauren should sing the song, and I'll lip sync." So you sang one of the biggest songs of all time. Wow! You've now revealed it wasn't the actress. Who sang the song in the movie. Holy shit. That's crazy. Can she do that? Could she reveal that? I, I, they might. She might have had to sign a contract, right? No? Usually they make you sign NDAs, like, about revealing information like that. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal, I guess. I don't know. It was you singing that song. So why didn't you get that big deal after the song? I was more comfortable singing behind the scenes. But I feel kind That's of like tough. the song was meant for me, and I'm I'm kind of ready to put a face to the song. So I'm here. Look, to do let's that. do it. Let's get it, girl. Come on. Are you gonna sing that tonight? Yes. Oh shit. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> Good luck. We in for a treat, y'all. We in for a treat. I'm gonna stop fucking talking so much, but we finna hop into this. Let's go. Bro, you can feel the fucking tension in the room. Can you guys not? I can feel I can feel it. Good lord. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. You set up a dream in me. Getting louder now Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand Will you share this with me? It's darling without you All the shine of a thousand spotlights All the stars we steal from the night I don't think people understand like this is a very i would say it's a pretty difficult song from the standpoint of like it's more about the ramp up if that makes sense and if you're not very good at ramping up building up anticipation for the song it'll be very tough but like i said 
Leave your thoughts and opinions on this, bro. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. I think she's doing a great job. But leave your thoughts and opinions on it. <laughs> bro, she is, bro. She's great. But we but we already knew because she was the person who did the reference track for this fucking song. You know what I'm saying? And you have to be really good to do that shit. Like that actually happens a lot. Like, uh, especially in music. You know what I'm saying? Like uh doing the reference track and stuff like that. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but Party Next Door did a lot of reference tracks for um Drake back in the day. Um, I can't remember which tracks they were. I, I, I used to be able to remember all that shit. But back in the day, Party Next Door did a lot of reference tracks for Drake. Um, and so some people, I think uh, Party Next Door actually released some of the reference tracks. And some of them were actually better than what Drake did. But that's not the point. You know, the point is that if you're able to do a reference track, you're actually pretty talented. Let's just say that. <laughs> only person like kind of blown away though are we not all blown away type shit we're not you're not okay i am though i you know what i'm saying like people have to remember this shit is live you know what i'm saying they're not editing they're not fixing her her shit at all what she sounds like is what she sounds like um so she's sounding damn near like the damn uh a track to be honest with you, she's sounding phenomenal, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I, I mean, what a phenomenal talent. And, and you know what's crazy is to be kind of hidden behind the curtain as great of an artist as she is. It's kind of crazy to think that she's not more well-known, to be honest. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Bl definitely blown away. Definitely blown away. tell you something she made that song her beast notch you know what i'm saying well technically she did the reference track so she made that shit her beast notch before but that's not the point y'all that is not the point she is phenomenal bro she is i i have to say she is such a beautiful voice you know and it's like i said it's kind of crazy to think that she hasn't blown up as much as she probably could you know, like, I'm gonna be real with you. She could probably start herself a channel on YouTube and do covers and she'd probably get really, really big and make a lot of money. I'm sure she's not hurting for money now, but um, yeah, she could definitely blow up on YouTube. But I mean, let's keep it a buck, bro. Let's keep it honest. <laughs> The best nutrients. That's a commercial action, y'all. Science. Oh, that dog is so cute. That 
the dog, you said keep. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else you say. Standing ovation. Definitely needed a standing ovation for that. That shit was phenomenal. I'm going to cut it off right here because I'm trying not to have my shit get blocked. But I'm going to tell you this. This was absolutely phenomenal. Um, Lauren, keep doing your thing, girl. You are amazing. You are an amazing talent. You have such a fabulous voice. You don't need to be behind the curtain anymore. Come come out. You know what I'm saying? It's This is mind-blowing because there's so many talented people. But because... They're so behind the scenes all the time. We don't get to really see them all the time. But this was a gem and a half. I could tell you right now, like, I'm predicting that in the future that this, this video is going to get millions of views. And a lot of people, when they join, start maybe doing reactions or whatever, they're going to be reacting to this because this was such a phenomenal performance. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. And I honestly think this is the start of a great career. Obviously, she has a great career. She makes good money doing the reference tracks and stuff like that. But that's that's not the point. I think for a good solo career for her. Um, leave your thoughts and opinions inside the comment section below. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.